Arctostaphylus densiflora Howard McMinn, Howard McMinn manzanita or McMinn manzanita. This is another gorgeous plant, six feet tall by six feet wide. White flowers in the winter requires little water. Full sun to partial shade, so it will take some shade. What I love about manzanitas in general is the red bark, which this has. It's also got beautiful green leaves, white bell shaped flowers in the winter. Now, this particular manzanita, like any other manzanita, is slow growing, so it does require patience. But if you've got the patience in the room and you want to watch something beautiful, I would highly recommend this. Cyanothus concha, six feet tall by six feet wide, cobalt blue flowers in the spring, full sun, fast growing, requires minimal water. This is a great plant when you want something tall and gorgeous. So the flowers in terms of color are somewhat similar to my pants ish thereabouts. This is also a nice plant if you want to use it as a screen or as a backdrop and put smaller colorful plants in front of it. You could put this in the back and if the flowers in the spring have something else that flowers say in the winter in front of it and then you've got kind of the juxtaposition of the blue and maybe like a yellow or a purple or a red or even a nice coral. You could probably put an autumn sage in front of this. Origeron Arthur Menzies. Arthur Menzies seaside daisy. Foot tall to about two feet wide. The flower, as you can see, is kind of a lavender with a yellow center. Absolutely gorgeous takes mostly sun, needs hardly any watering, and it's really great if you want a low colorful ground cover. There's also Origeron Glaucus Bountiful and Origeron Glaucus Wayne Roderick that are also just as equally beautiful that you can use in your landscape. Aereophyllum nevinii, Catalina silverlace. So this plant gets about three feet tall by about four feet wide, full sun to partial shade, gorgeous yellow flowers in the spring. And what I really like about this is the color and the texture of the leaf. Put this as a back drop or in front of a plant with like red flowers oh it is insanely gorgeous now i was told this once by a client if you are a star trek fan this resembles a crystalline entity which is some sort of star trek creature It is stunning when it's in full bloom and mature. Festuca rubra, Patrick's Point, Patrick's Point fescue. Really beautiful, low growing ornamental grass, evergreen. Two feet tall by two feet wide. Purple ish flowers in the spring. Filtered sun to filtered shade, part shade. 
It does tend to mound up, but it is very beautiful. It's considered a bunch grass. Gray green leaves that would look nice next to something red, maybe. Now, this plant, if you live in an area that has a shitload of rabbits, may not be the greatest choice, but, however, if you don't have rabbit issues, then I would highly recommend experimenting with this. Fragaria californica, California woodland strawberry. About a foot tall, three feet wide, filtered sun to full shade, semi dry. The berries are edible. This one specifically has white flowers in the spring, but specifically in regards to the berries, it's not as big as the ones you buy at the grocery store. They're kind of smaller, but they are edible and delicious. So what this fragaria will do is it sends out these runners. So it does have a creeping habit, but it is nice if you want to cover a large area. And if you want food in your garden. Galvisia Jansia Gran Canon Baja Bush Snapdragon. This is probably two or three of them planted here, and this is very, very mature. Four feet tall by about five feet wide, maybe slightly shorter. Full sun to full shade, red flowers in the spring and summer. Blue green stems. It's not, summer has passed, yet it's still in bloom. Somehow nature tricked us. So the hummingbirds would stick its beak through there. What's interesting about this is that the leaf is more like a stalk. And it's a gray green color. I think it's gorgeous, although I have had some clients that didn't care for it. So it's, it's an acquired taste. Esperalo parviflora radiaca. Three feet tall by three feet wide. Red blooms in the spring and summer. Gorgeous red tall stalked flowers. I believe the Native Americans might have also used this to basket weave with, I believe. Maybe. I'd heard that somewhere. This is a nice kind of almost succulent but ornamental grass looking plant to have in your yard when you want just a completely different texture. Bucara opal or opal, opal coral bells. Two feet tall by two feet wide. Really great for shaded areas. Prefers mostly shade. We'll take a little bit of sun. Light pink, tall stock flowers in the spring. Minimal watering. Salvia clevelandii, Cleveland sage. Five feet by five feet tall, full sun, minimal water, purple, purple flowers in the spring and summer. What's really nice about this, besides the height factor, it is extremely beautifully fragrant. And you can cook with the leaf, much like however you would cook with sage. I don't normally cook with sage. 
you can cut off some of the leaves and bring it indoors and use it as air freshener. What I like to do with the leaves is I dry them. I put them into a sash and I stick them in the dryer instead of the dryer sheets. And my clothes and my linens come out smelling like sage. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Hey, this is Rama with Creations Landscape Designs, Arsene Landscapes. It is currently a very wet Southern California day here. It's Friday. Thank you, first of all, to all of you that have supported Creations Landscape Designs, Earth Friendly Landscapes. I really do appreciate your support of my small business. So this top 10 video that you just watched also enters into this giveaway that I'm offering with three prizes. One of the biggest prizes being a designer in residence appointment with any designer at Tree of Life Nursery on a Saturday. There's a plane going by if you can hear that. So there's several things that you can do to enter this prize and there's going to be three winners, a first place, a second place, and a third place. The many things that you can do is like this video or any of the other videos that have been posted in this top 10 series. The other thing that you can do is like Creations Landscape Designs on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment on any of the videos, like, subscribe, and comment on anything related to Tree of Life Nursery, whether it be their YouTube channel, their Facebook page, or any of the videos that feature Tree of Life Nursery, because all of these videos were shot at Tree of Life Nursery and just comment on this video letting me know what you did and that automatically enters you into the contest and of course the more entries you get the more chances you have to win this contest will be extended until the 2nd of january giving you time to watch all the other nine videos or actually other 10 videos if you haven't this top 10 video would be the 11th and all of these videos from Three California Native Plants for Food, Three California Native Plants for Scent, Shade, Slopes, etc. are and were designed to give you just basic ideas on plants and just the top three that you could use for the situation that you have. Thank you very much for being a supporter of my YouTube channel and my business. I hope all of you have a really awesome and wonderful holiday season.